Hello and welcome, my name is Leon and today we're going to be looking at Magento and in particular how to set up promotions. So whether you need a catalogue promotion that covers all of the products in your store or whether you need to offer a discount code or coupon code to your customers to offer some form of um, promotions that they can use at the checkout on the basket page of the website which will basically offer them some form of bundling or promotion where you offer a discount um, based on a percentage or a fixed value. So what I'd like to do is just jump straight into a Magento store and we're going to go straight into the admin. I'm just going to make a couple of assumptions and the first one is that you already know how to log into Magento and the second one is that you have your own username and password. If you don't have um, your own username or password or know how to log in please check out one of our previous videos where we show you exactly how to do this. So right let's get straight to it and log into Magento. Okay, so assuming you've logged into your Magento store successfully, the first thing that we need to do in order to set up promotions is to decide what type of promotion you want to put in place with your website. So the key thing here is, do you need to set up a catalog price rule? And so a catalog price rule is basically where you alter the pricing of all of your products throughout your entire catalog or you choose a number of products from within your catalog to set up specific pricing rules. A shopping cart price rule would be something that you set up in order to give probably one of your customers a promotional coupon code that they can then use to either get a fixed or percentage amount discount and so they both have um, very different roles to play within your e-commerce store. The thir first thing that we're going to look at is is the catalog price rules. So on this particular store we already have a trade prices rule set up and so what I'll do is just click on this so we can edit it and just give you a quick example of how this particular store is using this catalog price rule. So the first thing is you fill in a rule name and then you can add a description and this particular description just details what the discount is that they're offering. The status is set to active and then it's applicable to the trade customer group only. So rather than it be available to general and not logged in or guest customers, this one is only available to trade customers on this particular website. What you can then do is set a specific from date and to date if the discount or the catalog rule is only applicable for a specific period of time. So at this point this is up to you if you want to give it a from and to date. The next step once you've done that is you would then choose your conditions. This particular rule uses the conditions of highlighting all of the categories on this particular site. So when we set this rule up we simply set the category belongs to and then what we're able to do when I clicked on all of the category IDs, if I click on this icon here which will show us all of the categories, we set this up to be activated on all of the categories that you can see ticked in the checkboxes and once you've ticked all of those you click on the green tick mark and then it automatically assigns those numbers as part of the conditions. The next step that you need to then do as part of the actions for this catalog price rule is decide what action will happen once they've decided um, upon what the conditions are. So here we can see that this rule will apply by a percentage of the original price a discount amount and so this one is quite specific it offers 36.3521 percent of a discount amount and it's enabled this discount to work on sub products and it will apply this to the percentage of original um, product prices also and it can't be used with any further rules so you can see it stops any further rules processing and so this rule was set up as I said as a catalog price rule and so then once you've set your price rules what you need to make sure you do is to save and then apply the rules and the reason why you would press save and apply um, is the first thing is to save the actual rule the applying is that because Magento will then need to re-index pricing to make sure that the pricing for your trade customer group is then um, including this trade prices catalog price rule now what I'll do is go to the front end of this particular website and I've logged in as a trade customer on the front end so so I already have a customer account and what you'll see is that automatically it's giving me a special price and this special price is basically being calculated from the catalog price rule rather than an actual sale being on the website. So you can see here the original prices for these products are $54.99 and now they're showing me a special price of £35 and if I log out um, here so we go to the top 
and then I go back to the category of products you'll see that the pricing now has gone back to the original price of $54.99 because it now believes I'm just a guest customer and so you can see here this is how catalog price rules can be used and so it's very good like I say if you want to offer this to either a special group of customers whether they're trade customers or just a group that you need to set up and it works pretty well um, so if I just go back to the admin area so that was catalog price rules so the next step with regards to promotions um, if you wish to set up your own rule you simply go to add new rule and you fill out the same details that I've just taken you through on that existing rule so put in your rule name description set that it's active choose the customer group that you wish to apply this rule to and if you need to choose more than one you simply click on the group and then hold down the control key CTRL on your keyboard and click on the next group that you need if you're on an Apple computer I think it's the CMD command that you need to use and then you fill in the from and to date if you need to otherwise leave them blank set up your conditions which you can then go through and choose whether it's a specific category or a product SKU so the product code that you need to set the rule up against so you could choose one product or many products or just go for every category and you'll see as I've selected category automatically highlights that this rule is based on a category belonging to dot 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 you click on the dot 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 you click on the browse icon and now you can choose the particular categories that you could apply this catalog price rule to so as an example if I click ATV decals click on the green tick and you can now see that the category selected is category ID 48 and actions would be then for me to put in a percentage discount fixed or percentage of the original price or to a fixed amount and so that, that basically allows you to choose the type of discounting model that you wish to implement so that's catalog price rules so I've just pressed back there just to get back to promotions the next step what I want to do is to look at promotions and I'm just going to jump into this website but we're going to look at shopping cart price rules so just logged into another site and we have shopping cart price rules so here you can see that there are a number of shopping cart price rules already set in place and if I click on one particular shopping cart price rule we can see what's in place right so you can see very similar to catalog price rules with the shopping cart price rules you have to create the rule name you can enter a description although it's not required set whether it's active you then choose the customer group that this rule can be set against if it's not available for general or not logged in guest accounts and then what you can do is set up whether or not there is a coupon code they need to enter on the basket or checkout page um, ha you can limit this to how many uses per customer also set the from and to date if it's a promotional period that you wish to activate this rule for so for instance if you're offering some type of January sales you might wish for this to end on the 31st of January otherwise as I said you can leave it blank if there is no time limit on the shopping cart price rule so we'll get rid of that and then the next step is once you've filled in those details you need to set up the conditions and on this particular shopping cart price rule we've set here the condition that the total weight for the products that are added to the basket must be equal to or greater than five kilograms and this was a specific rule that needed to be put in place for this particular website but because Magento is pretty sophisticated there are a number of conditions and um, rules that you can put in place if your discounting applies to a specific product code a subsection or specific attributes and you can get into the rules and conditions until your heart's content and you achieve what you need to do with your conditions but for the sake of this example we've set this one to, to activate based on a customer having five kilograms or more in terms of the physical weight of the products in their basket the next step after conditions you have to set up the actions and on this particular rule the shopping cart rule the discount that is given as part of this rule is a fixed amount which is a 10% uh, deduction or discount on the original price of the product there's nothing else that's applied 
there's no discount in applied shipping, free shipping or any further rules that will be um, executed. There's an option to label it which can be left blank and if you need to manage your coupons there is a list of used coupons here if you've set limits on coupons and so on. What I'm going to do because this coupon code has already been set up I'm just going to press back because I don't need to save any of the changes. So what I'll then do is log into which I've logged into the website here where it uses the discount rule applied and so I'll click on this particular product which is a a physical product and we'll just wait for this website to load. So now we're on the product page where I can choose a variation of the product and just to test that the rule is working and will only apply if I have one um, up to five sorry from five kilograms or more I'm going to add one kilogram to the basket so this particular product is one kg so if I get rid of these previously added products and there so you can see we've got this product here this particular product weighs one kilogram and you can see there's only one um, in terms of quantity and so therefore there is no discounting available as you can see so if I multiply this up to five in my cart this will take the weight up to five kilograms and it should trigger the discount rule and as you can see the discount rule has then been triggered here where you can see there's a discount applied which is 10% of the subtotal so that's how you use the shopping cart price rules now there's another way to use shopping cart price rules so for instance say you don't have a specific customer group and you just wish to offer out a coupon code that people can use on your website so what we could then do is add a new shopping cart price rule and I'll just do an example one now so we call this one I'm going to I'll be calling this one 5% discount and so here this one reduces price by 5% so I'm setting the status to active this is available to general and not logged in customers only so I'm not offering this to any other groups and instead of it saying no coupon where you need to select the coupon we're going to set a specific coupon and I'm going to call this 5 discount so therefore I've specified the coupon what you do have underneath is this checkbox which allows an auto generation so if you wanted this discount or um, shopping cart price rule coupon code created automatically you could click on this and it will create one automatically when you press save um, for now I'm just going to use one I've created so how many times can this coupon be used? I'll say up to 100 times and how many times can it be used for each customer? I'll say once. You can set a from and to date. So we could choose available from today up until the end of the week. And then what we need to now do is set conditions. So what I'll say is the shopping cart price rule will be available for, let's go a an attribute combination so let's see here. if an item is found in the cart and all of these conditions are true and then what we can then say is right I want it to trigger on a specific category so here I'll go into the category and I'll say this discount will only be available on these particular categories and so what I'll do is make sure that the majority of them are highlighted and then click on the green tick to make sure that has been set which it has and then the actions are I want to offer a 5% discount so you can see it already says percent product price um, that's all in place happy with that you can set up labels if you wish um, although it isn't required so at that point what I'll do is press save and continue just to make sure it's saved yep everything's gone through fine so what I can do is just press save and go back to my list of existing shopping cart price rules and you can see our new ones added down here called five percent discount and to use this code I need to enter five discount into my shopping cart so what I'll do just press back I'm gonna jump over to the front end on this website I'll log out here because this particular customer belongs to a specific customer group 
and the new shopping cart price rule is only applicable to guests or general users so now if I go to a shop and we go to this particular product I'll add it to my cart so I'm going to choose this product one kilogram add it to my cart right so once you jump into the shopping cart on the front end just enter the discount code and apply the coupon and as you can see here the coupon code has been applied word of warning just one more thing if it doesn't work first time around just go back to your shopping cart price rule and also make sure you select as a customer group here that you've got not logged in general and retailer um, sometimes it is applicable to people who aren't logged in to be a retailer also and so just press save and then that will activate the rule and make sure that guests and registered customers are all included when the rule is used so if I jump back to the front end you can see the discount and coupon code have been specified there where there's a 5% discount um, and that has then been applied obviously into the tax breakdown and calculations for this particular product um, if you wish to then um, do any further work with your discount rules you can have more than one you can really go into the conditions and set up some really um, specific or cool parameters um, actions you can then look at um, maximum quantity discount can be applied to so for instance if a customer was ordering a thousand products you might say that actually the maximum quantity that this discount will be applied on is a hundred so it limits the overuse of discounting if you don't want that to take place um, you can then look at a stepped quantity discount so the more people buy the more discount they get um, and then there are other things like applying discount to shipping free shipping and um, either allowing further rules to be processed so where people can use more than one discount rule or shopping cart rule in their basket or you can just simply have it as no as it is by default um, so that's pretty much it for promotions with Magento remember you've got catalog price rules that affect the um, pricing across all of your product range and then you've got shopping cart price rules where when a customer gets to the basket or checkout stage there is either a coupon that they enter or the shopping cart price rule is applied automatically on viewing those pages for any further questions just please get in touch with us we are www.youngcow.co.uk and once again my name is Leon Street and thank you for watching bye bye